As your mother Teresa, I come bringing the light of charity that I embody with my own unto the earth in order that you, each one, may understand the dynamics of how when charity is expressed, peace is effused throughout the world. The saints walk in peace and those who abide in their presence are the true peacemakers who generate and regenerate through that divine love who they are in God, that light that bestows the grace of peace everywhere. Peace and aloha reign supreme over these islands and what they represent as that aloha spirit that is gentle in its approach and how it communicates the gestures that it makes. Its tender regard for all life and especially nature. And this day, the great Elohim ray forth throughout the entire planet, that light, so that peacemakers everywhere may awaken to their calling, to their sacred work, to beingness in God, to service through charity, through ministration and givingness. You, blessed hearts, as peacemakers, may enjoy God's rays as they raise you in light through your offerings of the Spirit. And as others are washed by the living waters of light through your souls attending to them gracefully. Each time you are graceful in some way and the way in which you live, move and have your being, the light of peace is magnified. Each time there is an infusion of love through your hearts, as you give the fullness of who you are to another, that radiant light that is pure peace with all of its possibilities for harmonization, equanimity, and resolution of conflict works its perfect work within the atmosphere surrounding you and through the very auric field that you bear by the living light of your presence. Each time there is an alleviation of suffering, anguish, sorrow, or pain through what you transcendently offer of yourself to another or to life, within your vocation, within your prayers, within your oneness with God. I am there with my angels of charity 
my sisters of charity, to bring peace in all of its colorations and graces so that the soul of all feel that infusion and know a permanent increase in light, a new opportunity to be who they are, undefiled, one with God. Yes, dearest hearts, even the concept of sin is dissolved in the equations of mercy that are bestowed through the offerings of the giving ones and of how peace manifests through the oil of gladness and kindness within their offerings. Oh, if you could see how heaven is invested and involved in your work on the inner and the outer as you give of yourself to life, as you feel your connectedness with God within your giving, oh, how even souls on the other side of this earth receive the aroma of that love fire from you. And they are buoyed up, encouraged, and provided with impetuses of hope, understanding, and oneness. The work of charity is the work of peace, the work of love and the alleviation of any type of suffering brings peace into manifestation through the princes and princesses of peace who you are and who the saints upon earth are, one with us in heaven. I was honored during my incarnation as St. Teresa, not yet sainted, simply as a mother to many, to bear the living light of the Christ in its feminine aspect to souls in India and elsewhere. And my legacy lives on through my sisters of charity. And even you who are invested in that charity in some way as you give effulgently to life and to souls and duress and despair. forgotten, dejected, lacking in love from others. Oh, be that love to the disenfranchised around the world by simply asking our angels and sisters to abide with them for moments in time within their auras, within their lives. For you see, blessed ones, when you co-mingle with the angels and the saints and spirit within your meditations and prayers, we receive the light that you bear and expand it and distribute it to those most in need, most deserving of God's grace and the harmonics of light. 
There is a regulation of the release of light unto souls upon this earth based on many factors. And yet the ultimate factor of love, mercy, kindness, and charity always provide the deeper essentials of life that even go beyond the physical necessities, though these too are important for many. Though you may not always be involved in outer works of charity, as my sisters were, and their healing ministry, the inner calling that you have to provide divine relief is there any moment you choose to engage within it and to provide it through your heart's love, through your kindness and compassion. Oh, one thousand Buddhas come forth now as you sponsor this event and stream forth the light of compassion through these throughout our planet to provide that relief, both temporary and lasting, that souls everywhere who are suffering require to raise them out of their state of illusion, temporary darkness, even insanity. And in this bodhisattva work, let there be freedom from distress, liberation from all maya, pain, and duress. O angels of mercy and kindness, Buddhas of beingness and of all the rays, hear my prayer this day and utilize every divine resource, every heavenly gift to assuage the hurts the pains, the suffering of mankind. And let the light of Jesus the Christ be born. Let the light of Gautama Buddha, of the great prophets and saints of all ages, merge with the auras of these who require this healing mercy and bestow peace through charity unto all in this hour. Those of you who see me with your inner sight see me as a younger version of the one whom you know as Mother Teresa. And I fly here, there, and everywhere around the world and especially in those third world nations that have so many who require tender love and care to provide that charitable relief. Some see me and most do not, as I nurture them and provide for them, for their souls and hearts needs. Come with me in spirit each day. Ask to when you retire at night. Fly on wings of light with the Sisters of Charity to bring peace, 
love, compassion and charity to thousands. This is a simple request that our angels will answer. And you may even have the recollection of your work upon arising in the morning and have the vision of me serving with you. Even the lepers, those ready to pass from the screen of life, those starving in Africa and elsewhere, those with no one to look to for love. Be that love, blessed ones. Be that relief so that at the last breath of many who are passing from the screen of life, they may at least have some sensation of hope, of grace through one who cares, through one who loves them as they love God. Now there is restored throughout the earth through the peacemakers a certain blessing this day that brings that sense of peace and relief to millions. Thank you for your work For this is seminal in our greater work to restore this earth to its rightful state of beingness. I am your mother, Teresa, and I whisper unto you words of love. Words of encouragement. Words that Jesus would often speak to the lowly and humble. Who shall inherit the kingdom because they are truly those whom God loves. Thank you.